Hi, it's Elizabeth again. Sorry I haven't done um, some videos for a while, but um, that's because I've, it's hot here in Australia, so I've been a bit busy. Um, I'm going to count my... Thirteen best books from my bookshelf. So yeah, they're all YA or young adult fiction, or you know, just those sorts. So my first one is one that I grew up reading that I did love, um, and I read it when I was younger uh, because I did like it. Actually, there's one other one on my bookshelf that I'll just grab there we go um, which I read as well it's a good American tale and I do like it I did want the other one Tom Sawyer the Avengers Tom Sawyer but it wasn't there at the bookstore at the time I got this one but it's from Mark Twain of course and of course everybody knows it it's the Avengers of Huckleberry Finn I do like this one and they made an Australian um, an Australian show kind of like this called Chuck Finn very good show old show but very good one um, but Huckleberry Finn's one of my favorites I do like reading that actually I've got the bookmark in there which um, page I'm up to page six I'm up to page six in the book but yeah <laughs> But it's nice. I like the ribbon they got for it. So yeah. Um, and the cover's nice. It's leather, and it's just about Huck and Huck being going down the rafter and Tom Sawyer and their adventures, I guess. And I like how the page is coloured as well. So that's pretty cool. The other book I've got is the uh, is Black Beauty. I love. Horses. I do actually love horses. Oh, I just love horses. I would love to ride a horse. I've never ridden a horse before, so you know, <laughs> I would love to ride one. Um, Black Beauty is a really good book. It's about a horse, and the horse tells you on his journey and how he, where he goes and stuff. And I like at the end where he meets up back with his owner again. It's so sweet. And, it's sad in some parts as well. The look at the look at the pages there. It's just oh, it's so sweet. I love, I love it. And this one's by Anna Sewell, so she's a really good author. Um, also, I also when I grew up reading as well that I absolutely adore, and everybody else does, and I got the costume to it as well. I went to Warner Brothers Movie World on the Gold Coast here in Australia and I got myself a cloak, Gryffindor, I'm Gryffindor all the way so yes, Harry Potter. Of course everybody would know Harry Potter and this book was bought a long time ago so a while back and I grew up reading and watching the film so yes and my favorite character out of this would have to be the ghost peeves i love it but he wasn't in the movie and ah oh, i really wanted to see peeves but what can you do i also like the train as well the hogwarts express i do want to go to the harry potter theme park one eventually i'll get there but yeah and i just love this book Harry Potter is what started me off to fan fiction. There's also some other books I grew up with, like the Babysitter's Club and that. But yeah, but ah, oh my gosh, nothing can go past Harry Potter. I just love it. And I hear she's doing another series within the Wizardry World. Another book. So I can't wait till I find out what that book is. So, oh. Um, I also... Uh, I I liked reading I loved reading this one and it's about the medieval days and it's a very good book it's got Will Treaty in I'm sure some people have heard of it the Rangers Apprentice series 
the new one is called the Royal Ranger, uh, Ranger's Apprentice to Royal Ranger series. Um, it's pretty good. It's Horace and Cassandra's daughter that Will becomes a um, one of the big rangers and he helps apprentice Horace and Cassandra's daughter, um, Madeline or Maddie. Maddie, she loves being called Maddie. Um, but yeah, this is about Will's adventure. There are ones in the earlier years, Ranger's Apprentice early years, when Holt was younger and just starting out in the Rangers. And then, of course, you've got the Brother Bane books, which are really good too. There's a new one out uh, called The Return of the Temujai. I think it's named Tem I think the name is Temujai. I don't know whether I'm saying pronouncing that right. I like this one, so this one's pretty good. I love the book, I love Will, I love the characters, and Holt is my favourite character out of this. Holt's just so wise. And Tug, Tug the horse. Oh, so good. The next one is about fairies, about Fae, and also about a boy. And this has been made into a movie from Disney called Artemis Fowl. By Eon Colfer. Oh, and Ranger's Apprentice is by John Flanagan, by the way. Just saying. He's an Aussie author, by the way, too. So that's really cool. Oh, and in this book, there's a... I don't think it's in this one, but there, there's usually a map in it. So, yeah. And there's... If you turn to pages, you get these little leaves there. Because they're the symbol for the Ranger's Apprentice. Well, the Rangers. So this is Artemis Fowl. And in this book, you've got... I think... Yeah. There it is. See that? That's Fowl Manor there. I can't wait till the movie comes out. I get to see it in real life. It's so cool. And Haven City. And then Ho Chi Minh City as well. Because that's where he first gets the book. And I love Butler. Butler is his bodyguard. That's so funny how they become nice close friends. And Holly is pretty good in this. And Julius Root isn't dead in this one. <laughs> Oops. Spoiler. Sorry. That's about the fourth book, I think. Yeah, the fourth book. That's in the fourth book that he dies. And sorry about the spoiler. Uh, but yes. Artemis Fowl is really, really good. So, read it. It's really good. It's by Eon Colfer, so yeah. I can't wait for the movie to come out. Disney has, uh, how do you say, um, stopped it for a little while until next year. So, next year we'll get to see the movie, so I can't wait for it to come out. I just hope it's like the book, exactly like the book. I hope they stick to the book unlike the Percy Jackson one I mean I do like the Percy Jackson films but they weren't as good as the Harry Potter ones which brings me to the next book Percy Jackson of course Rick Raiden <laughs> and of course I've been speaking about the new Trials of Apollo book um, the Tyrant's Tomb and that so you all know that one but Percy Jackson is my next favourite one um, by Rick Royden and this is pretty interesting of course and I'm sure a lot of people's read it so you know the movie's not as good and not as based on the book as I thought because I saw the movies before I read the books and maybe I shouldn't have done that <laughs> but yeah they should have done it like Harry Potter was but yeah just the books are really cool so yeah Percy Jackson and I think no they don't actually yeah no they don't they don't have that I do like the uh, little saying up there I accidentally vaporized my pre-algebra teacher I love that chapter one that, that's really cool that's that one and then out of the Rick Royden series as well, series, I do like the um, Kane Chronicles. I haven't bought the books yet, but I'm going to get there, as well as the companion to it. Um, this 
one is the Heroes of Olympus series. This is the one we get to see Leo in. Oh, I love Leo Valdez. <laughs> I love Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. I absolutely love him. I'm crushing on him. <laughs> so bad. But yes, Leo is really cool. I love Leo in this book. It's just so cool. Didn't really like Jason that much. I mean, I like Jason, mm, but not that much. Leo is, I just love Leo. I mean, I don't mind Nico, but Leo, ah, the way yeah, that's best is up there. Oh my gosh. Oh, the heroes of my best. Oh, and I love Frank too. Frank's like the little teddy bear. Maybe, he's, well, he's not really little, but what can you say? But yes, so that one I do like. And then, of course, the trials of Apollo. And I'd be in Apollo's house, by the way, because he's artsy and musical and then so am I. So I'd be in trials of Apollo. Sorry about my hair. It's a bit messed up today. So, yeah, um... Trials of Apollo, I do like this one as well. And I like in this book how they have the map of Camp Half Blood. That is really cool. Oh, um, and there's in the Tyrant's Tomb, I think they have Camp Jupiter. The thing to Camp Jupiter. Let me just the map to Camp Jupiter. I think they do have it here. Um, no, they don't, but it is a good book. That one's the new one. That one's the first one, so just so you know. So, I do love Charles of Apollo, and I love Apollo, and I feel sorry for what happens to him in this one, and oh, so good. The next one I'm going to show you is, I do love his Cherub series. Um, I love the second series, and that. Uh, Robert Munchmore. I do like the Cherub series. That should be... Yeah, there. That's the Cherub series there. See? That's the Cherub series there. And the Henderson boys aren't bad either. But I like the Cherub series number two better than the first one. And this is Rock War. I do like Rock War. See the spines? I've got two of these. I've got Rock War and Rock War Boot Camp. Is right here. There. A bit dusty because I haven't read it for a while, but yes. And the covers shine too. So see that? That's so cool. And um, I do like the Rock War series, so that's really cool. I haven't got the other books because there's four books, I think. See the spines? That's so cool, don't you think? That is so cool. So cool. So yes, I've got both at the moment. I will get the whole set. Same with the second Cherub series, I will get that. Rock War is about this boy, and he wants to be in a band. He made his own band, and then they start fighting, and then they start breaking up, and then, oh, all sorts of drama goes on. But yes, good book. The next one is... Um, one I read uh, when I was a bit younger, and it's called A Diamond Brothers Story. And um, these are the books here. It's by Anthony Hart. He writes the um, Alex Ryder series, which is a really good series to read it because that one is really good. I haven't got any of those books but I will eventually because it's a good series too it's about a boy who turns into a spy this one the Diamond Brothers the older brother is a PI private investigator private detective and his young brother Nick Diamond is in, is a school is, is a school kid a high middle school or high school kid anyway yeah 
he helps his brother out on cases sometimes because his brother's like um accident prone stuff like that yeah <laughs> not really that good it's so funny though and i love the police officers in this too the detectives in this because they show up all the time and they're like you can't do this you get yeah it, it's very funny you have got to read it it, it is really funny the Dunn brothers if you can find them they are hard to find i found this one and another one at a um at an op shop so you know they're really good places to go um another one i do like i like john grisham's lawyer books he he writes for older for adults and he's come out with stuff for the young adults for teenagers and tween ages and that is theodore boone the theodore boone series about a kid lawyer that's in there and his parents are both lawyers and his father's a property lawyer whatever that is and then there's a then his mother is a divorce lawyer we all know what they are so yes and he helps kids in his class with problems and sometimes those problems can cause pro other problems so yes but that's a very good book too and then just the road. um yeah and the next book i love the chris ryan books he's um a british sas ex sax sas soldier and i love his books his adult books and so i bought this one because this one's in the ya section and i bought this one this is called special forces cadets siege and see how good it is like that that is so cool um the missing is the other one i've read the missing so that's the second book he hasn't done a third book just yet so i'm sure that'll be out next year because the missing came out this year so yeah <clears throat> um i do like this one he does write other ones um yeah he does write other other book series in his series but yeah Let's see that is so cool so yeah um but this is about um a kid who is sometimes down on his luck and he joins the cadets here and yeah he, he helps out at schools and stuff to stop terrorism and stuff like that so really good book that one next up is part of the rick royden series as well the percy jackson ones they're ones i got recently from a bookstore because i was searching all over because um when i saw these books i saw them on the shelves of um in their youtube videos of um Christine, um, which is Extime, and um, Courtney the fangirl had them on her shelf as well. And I think Jessie the reader did that as well. Anyway, I do like them. And I thought I'd try and search for them, which I did, and I found them. And that is The Greek Gods. Let's check some of the Greek Gods. I love the colors. Oh, I love it's the cover. Oh, and I love the drawing there too. It's really cool. See, that's the flip cover. And that's the front. That looks so cool. So, yes, I do like that. And let's see. It's beautiful. Oh, I love the book. I love this. This is just so cool. And the pictures in it. Oh my gosh. Ta da! I love that. I, I just, oh my gosh. They've got like pretty good pictures. Like that's Poseidon. But yeah, it's Poseidon. Great pictures. I do love the pictures. Um, great book. Do like it. I've read it 
and I love it. And the stories I love most are the Hermes, the Dionysus, I think I'm saying his name right, Apollo, the Apollo chapter, the Hephaestus one. Don't really like Ares that much. I do like the Hades one. That's pretty cool. Um, but all those chapters are pretty cool. <laughs> what can you say? But yeah, I do like this book. I love reading all the myths. And they're true myths. And oh my gosh, the cover feels so good. Yeah, I love the cover. I love the cover. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And then I have this one. Oh. Which, are, which is Percy Jackson and the Greek heroes. I just and this also has a nice cover. So nice drawing in it too. Uh, this is all about the Greek heroes. But I'll get it there. And then at the front it's got the thing. And see, it's rainbowish too. If you have a close look at the feathers on it, see? See? That's really cool. And then at the back of this one, let me just get the wet cover on, is just ta da! I've got a poster here. Ta da! And it's got all the heroes. So, yeah. Got all the heroes, which I absolutely love. The Greek heroes. So yes, <laughs> these are heavy. <laughs> um, but yes, I, oh my gosh, the covers. <laughs> Percy starts off with um, Perseus in this one as well. So that's really cool. I do like the story of Perseus, but I wouldn't mind reading it. Page of Hercules. I'm not up to the Hercules page just yet. I'm still reading through the Perseus one. But yes, so I can't wait for that. And yeah, and I'm also going to try and get um, series of my favorite series of um, of manga, the anime and stuff, which I got DVDs of like Naruto, Naruto Shippuden, um, Bleach, quite a bit of others, but yes. But that is my favourite books of the YA and younger genre. I do have adult ones, which are pretty good. Like, like Joe Pickett, the Joe Pickett one from um, CJ Box, that's pretty good. Not for the younger ones, and I got this one from my local library, so... They're pretty cool there. So yeah, um, Joe Pickett has a lot of books. CJ Book Box wrote a lot of books about Joe Pickett and there's another new one coming out very soon of Joe Pickett. So that'll be interesting to read too. <laughs> but this one's the breaking point one. So yes, Joe Pickett's a game warden, just so you know. And he's got a friend called Nate Bramnowski and he's a falconer. Yeah, pretty cool. And he has three daughters. Joe does. With Mary Beth, which is his wife. So, yeah. Being a game warden, not always fascinating. Not always good. On top of that, I also got Frost. If you know A Touch of Frost and have watched it, you will know what it is. That's A Touch of Frost by R.D. Winfield. These are older books. So, yeah. And on top of that, I got Cross, Alex Cross novels. This one's one of the little shots James Patterson writes, but Alex Cross, I do love Alex Cross. Alex Cross is a African American detective, Washington detective, Washington DC detective, and he's really good. Also, he's a psychologist as well to boot. Another one I do like is uh, Jonathan Kellerman's um, Alex Delaware novels as well. They're really good too. And on top of that, I also like um, Michael Connolly's um, Bosch character as well. So he's really cool too. But yes. So 
the, there's some of the adult ones that you'll see eventually but um all right i better go it's getting really hot in my room so i need to go and have a nice vlog because here in australia the heat <sighs> all right bye